India is a large country that is full of potential, but that potential is held back by crippling poverty. Asian Aid, which is now Child Impact International, started working in India to address the varied needs there. Beginning with schools and orphanages, the work quickly expanded with God's blessing to schools for the blind and deaf, and the critical work of addressing human trafficking through Operation Child Rescue. Many of the children that are trafficked are orphans. Seeing the great need that orphans have in India, Child Impact began work on one of their biggest projects at that time, Sunrise Home. This orphanage is the first that Child Impact would fund and run from construction to final operation. Sunrise Home faced many challenges before it became the success that it is today. Starting from humble beginnings, where the need strained the resources to the breaking point, see how God used Child Impact to meet the needs of Sunrise Home and expand it to the point that it is today. Well, I'm here at Sunrise Home in India, and many of you have been involved in the construction and raising funds for this home, which now has over 120 children. Could you imagine having 120 children? Well, Raj and Lalitha Varma do, and they're the leaders of this home. And we're just so proud of you guys and the work that you do for the children that we have at Sunrise Home. Sunrise Children's Home stands today as a fully operating orphanage that provides food, shelter, and loving care to over 100 children. But it did not start on this large of a scale. Sunrise Home actually started after um, Lalitha and Varma um, left the Elam home. They were very involved with Elam and then they were um, living up in the in the Bobbley area and um, you know they they were experienced really in in helping orphans and in you know running the the Elam home and so we decided that that would be good for them to start a new one up in um, up in the Bobbley area and so that is how how they started it. Starting out with just a one-bedroom house and three children in 2001, they quickly grew. Local people noticed the love that Raj and Lalitha had for the children in their care and began to bring more children to them. Soon three children turned to seven and then 17. They were running out of space. Government officials, welfare committee members, and pastors also sent children to them. By 2004, in just three years, the number of children had grown to 35, and by 2006, it had increased to 60. As more children came, the need for increased space pushed the Varmas to find a new place to rent with more room. Jim Rennie, the current CEO of Child Impact, visited Sunrise Home and saw the great need that they had. About 13 years ago, when I visited India for the first time, I was taken by car to the town of Bobbali, which is in the state of Andhra Pradesh in India. I was taken to visit Sunrise Home, which was a home with about 50 or 60 children in it. And when I got there, I was nothing but shocked. Here were these smiling, happy children, but they were crammed into a building that would barely house 20 children. And in the evening, I saw them lying on the floor, uptight against each other, sleeping. And I just had to change things. Having seen the need, Jim Rennie started work right away to help them. It took a while to find the right spot for the campus, but they succeeded in finding a beautiful piece of property located in a rural area, about 20 minutes from Bubbly. Construction soon began on the 10-acre piece of land. Many volunteers helped with the construction. The foundational mission of Sunrise Home can best be shown by one of the first things they did as a community on that property. Many of the children gave their lives to God by being baptized. It's a great day that uh, God had given me because from uh, 11 years, I struggled a lot to take care of these children. When they are small, I faced so many problems. Now they are grown up. So now we can see the world with a lot of pleasures. But because of that reason, 
I want to divert them, not to divert to the worldly pleasures, but I want to divert them what is the Christianity and why God came to this earth, why he shed the blood for us. So because of that reason, I told whatever I learned in my life, because my mother, she taught me what is Christianity. And she is the one who took me to the church and she is the one taught me whatever she learned. So whatever my mother taught me, then I want to teach for these children also. Under the supervision of Jim Rennie and Raj Varma, progress on building the new Sunrise Home went quickly. The buildings were constructed from 2011 to 2012, with the new home being inaugurated on November 4th of 2012. The children were so excited to have more room where they could run and play, but most importantly, where they could learn skills that would help them for the rest of their lives. First, I came very sad because I don't like this hostel. But when I entered the hostel, I see friends and all the all them. They are very happy. Then, uh, like this, I also get very happy and I started studying, studying here, and I felt very happy. I came to this sunrise home. Since its humble beginnings in a one-room house with three children in 2001, Sunrise Home has grown to now support over a hundred children. Each of these children have a bright future, but not all are so lucky. If the children are in the village, they are like vagabonds because parents, both the parents are there. If father dies, mother will take away another man. If a mother dies, father will marry another woman and uh, no one is there to take care of the children and they are neglected. And they are neglected and uh, uh, they are becoming like uh, vagabonds going here and there. Most of the time they'll spend their uh, time in uh, going around the trees here and there plucking all the fruits and uh, they don't know the manners. They don't know the manners and they don't know how to live and they don't know how to talk. They know only the language, what they are learning in, in the, from the parents. So after they are coming from, from that place, after they are coming here, they are learning uh, this local language and they are learning English, they are learning manners, and they are, uh, I'm uh, molding their characters. And the way of the living is entirely different when they live at their home. And now in sunrise, way of the living is entirely different and they are learning so many things after they come here to Sunrise. While the need seems overwhelming, every child that is taken off the streets is another life saved. And more than that, is another future adult, like Pintu, who grew up in Sunrise's sister orphanage, Sunshine. He now works to help nurture and empower children. Well, music, music is a, uh sign code of sunshine. Every kid who comes here that amazes me is uh, every one of us love music. So passionate and for me I go one step ahead. I love, I, I just love music. I'm so passionate about music and I have uh, taken special interest in conducting. I love conducting and I love to teach children. I have uh, created my talent I have developed my talent in Spicer College where I had a choir of 80 children. And uh, then Lowry, where I used to go part-time and help the children. Sponsoring children does more than just give them food, shelter, and an education. It empowers them to affect real, positive change in their communities. Sponsoring a child is an investment that pays off not only in the short term, but also in the long term, and most importantly, for eternity. You know, child sponsorship has many facets. We might sponsor a child in a school, but that's not all. Because what if the school has some needs? What if they need a laboratory that needs upgrading? What if they need other teaching aids that need upgrading? So we also go in and look at the facilities, the environment, uh, the teaching qualifications, and we want to build capacity. So that by doing that, our children benefit and all of the children benefit. So we are benefiting many more children. Our, our, our investments are benefiting many more people. It's a multiplying effect 
because we look at how we can better influence the whole community in the, in the school. So we ensure better education for our sponsored children and everyone else too. Child Impact plans to expand Sunrise Home to work with Operation Child Rescue to provide a home for children who make their living at the railroad stations and are begging on the streets. They will be able to do this soon since they are licensed by the government and are able to work with local authorities. If it wasn't for dedicated, self-sacrificing people like the Varmas and all the faithful sponsors of Child Impact, places like Sunrise Home would not exist. It has come so far from when it was just a one-bedroom house with three children to now being the home to over a hundred children and many buildings. I love going to Sunrise Orphanage. It really delights my soul to go there. I was involved with Sunrise from day one and now when you walk through the gate, you see happy children, you see healthy children. And not only that, they, they love Jesus. They're singing hymns, they're praying, they're involved with the community and outreach. And that's the difference about Sunrise. There are other orphanages that care for the orphans. There are other orphanages that make a difference. But our children have an added spark to them that they love Jesus. They're singing songs and that they're involved in outreach in their own simple way to children in the community. It's just so exciting. Each one of these lives is sacred and has a purpose. As sponsors and donors, you enable these children to develop into their full potential. Thank you for your sacrificial investment. It means so much. Sponsoring children in activities like these mission schools and opportunities is a tremendous way to help form the character of young people as they look to the future. They will never forget their association in a Christian environment and by God's grace many of them will become members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. It is absolutely a powerful witness to sponsor a child in Child Impact and so many other uh, organizations that help young people to find Jesus. Sponsoring a child not only has short-term effects, but it has a long-term effect. Sponsoring a child is investing in the character of a young person for eternity. We're taping this right here in Myanmar at the Myanmar Union Adventist Seminary. And about one third of the students, or one quarter of the students, are being sponsored by Child Impact. People who become workers in God's uh, church, people who make an impact in the community, have been people who have been sponsored. Your sponsorship is absolutely an investment in the future of the church. Hi there, before you go, I'd like to invite you to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'd also like to encourage you to watch some of our other videos highlighting Child Impact's work for at-risk and marginalized children.